As we wind down summer and families are getting back to their school routines, the city is finalizing the budget and tax rate for next year's budget year, which for us starts in October. I thought I'd give everyone a brief overview of what's being proposed, so you know what to expect here soon. You may remember from my last mayor's video that we're looking at the first ever homestead exemption. Well, I'm excited to say that's been approved. Homestead properties in Colleyville will now receive a 7% exemption on their tax bill. Our new budget also includes funding for many important projects and services. Let me tell you about a few. Public safety is always one of the top priorities to fund in the city's budget. We will continue to fund all of our police and firefighter positions and make sure they have the equipment they need to do their jobs. This year we are replacing all of the body cameras as well as their handheld radios. Those radios are now more than 10 years old and outdated with old technology. We've also partnered with our neighboring cities to purchase a Bearcat armored vehicle for our North Tarrant Regional SWAT team. By working together with neighbors, Colleyville only pays one-fifth of the cost. This vehicle will keep our first responders safe when responding to critical incidents and give them better maneuverability for tactical operations. Next, we will take delivery of our new fire truck. This newest truck will replace the 15-year-old ladder truck. While these fire trucks are expensive, our team has done an excellent job of taking care of them, making them last as long as possible. And of course, our budget will continue to fund school resource officers for every public school in Colleyville, protecting our greatest assets, our children. Here's a fun fact. Over 60% of the city's budget funds public safety, which includes police, fire, and public works. Some may not realize that our public works teams are considered first responders too. After living through snowmageddon, ice storms, and busted water pipes, and several storms that knocked down trees and blocked roads, it's pretty clear that these guys and gals are essential. Keeping our community safe is our most important job, and the FY 2025 budget reflects that. The new budget also includes normal inflationary costs, which we can clearly all relate to. Other highlights include engineering for the Cheeksparger Road design, plus the design for a new roundabout at Cheeksparger in Bedford. Over on Bransford, we'll be moving forward with adding a trail that connects to the city park. And we look forward to a new sidewalk that will be installed on Montclair. On Heritage Avenue, we will also be making much needed bridge repairs. For the Northern Gateway property, we will be working on a flood study that will be necessary before potential uses are proposed. You'll also notice more of our new wayfinding signage combines with the first phase of our new signs at our parks. Heroes Park construction will begin later this year. Our first phase of improvements are mostly complete at the rec center. We will have a grand opening later this month. And of course, we will be working on developing a site master plan for the rec center's property next phase of expansion. These new rec ideas will involve you. We will be asking citizens to voice their opinions at the ballot box next May. These are just a snippet of the many things happening across our great city. If you'd like to learn more, check out the proposed budget on our website. Or give us a call and we'd be happy to visit with you. Thanks for joining me today. It's important that you know where your tax dollars are going and how the City Council is committed to conservative financial management. I hope you find this video helpful. I'll see you next time. Take care and may God continue to bless Colleyville.